this question, we have a simple torque question. There's a, a bolt here we want to turn with a wrench, and we're applying 55 newtons to the wrench, a distance of 30 centimeters from the bolt at an angle of 40 degrees to the lever arm. Now, simple equation, torque equals force times distance times the sine of theta. So we'll solve that torque is equal to our force, 55 newtons. Our distance is in centimeters, so we'll make that 0 0.30 meters. So 0 0.30 multiplied by the sine of 40. And that gets us a torque value of 10.6 newton meters. And again, let's remind ourselves, you know, why are we using the sine of 40? Only the perpendicular component of this will give us a rotation of motion. So what I'm doing is I'm drawing in a parallelogram here. Okay, so here's our 40 degrees, which means our 40 degrees is also located right here at this angle here. And it's this part here, the force that's being applied in this direction here that's perpendicular to the actual lever arm. Okay, so if this is our angle, uh, that is the opposite side. And that's the perpendicular component that causes rotation of motion to happen. So when we take the sine of 40, we're in finding the perpendicular force that is acting along the lever arm. Only that can cause torque. The cosine of 40 multiplied by 55 We'll get a force that acts along the lever arm parallel to it, and that does not cause rotation. So one more time, we do maximize torque when we're perpendicular to the lever arm, but we're not always perpendicular. So we take the sine of the angle in order to get the perpendicular component to it.